Now that we're comfortable with the SOLIDWORKS user interface, let's talk about customizing it to suit our needs. Now we've already talked about different ways that we can move things around, resize them, or just hide them all together. But now we wanna talk about customizing it to make it work better for us. The first thing we're gonna talk about is keyboard shortcuts. Now by default, SOLIDWORKS has a lot of keyboard shortcuts. You notice that if you do things like go over view orientation, you'll notice that it says control plus five next to the top view. That means if we hit the control and the number five on our keyboard, it goes into a top view. If you do control plus eight, it'll do a normal two view, control plus seven gives you an isometric view and so on. So there are several different ways that we can have quick keys such as zoom to fit is the letter F, that'll really make it easier for us to do things in the SOLIDWORKS environment. Now for the most part, I set up keyboard shortcuts to do things in the sketching environment. Because I use a 3D mouse, I set up a shortcut key on my 3D mouse to access a lot of tools. And we'll talk about that in another video. But now let's talk about getting set up to use keyboard shortcuts. To access the customization, there are several different ways that you can get to it. First, we can right click anywhere on our command manager and go to customize. Another way is we can use the gear icon that's new in SOLIDWORKS 2016, go down to customize or we can go to our tools menu and down to customize at the bottom. All three will take you to the same location. Inside here, you have access to several different tabs and things that you can customize in SOLIDWORKS. We're gonna talk about each of these in their own videos. So this one, we're gonna focus on keyboard. Now, once you see the categories in the keyboard, you can select ones that you are interested in. For instance, if we wanna look into view options, and then inside of view, we can only show ones with keyboard shortcuts. So in this case, it shows you Redraw is Control plus R, Orientation is Spacebar, Zoom to Fit is F. And you'll also notice off to the right, there's a search shortcut. Now the ZF is what will bring up this command, Zoom to Fit, if you're using search commands in the toolbar at the top. But what we're really interested in are going to be the tools, most specifically the sketch tool. You notice that the sketch line already has a keyboard shortcut L, but no other tools do have one. Let's go ahead and find some commands that we want to apply keyboard shortcuts to. Let's start by typing in the word circle. So you notice four different options come up. Sketch entities has a circle and a perimeter circle. Sketch tools has a circular pattern and edit circular pattern. What we're really interested in is circle. I'm going to set this up to be the letter R on my keyboard. Now you'll notice when we do this, it says R is already assigned to a command, file, browse recent documents. I don't really care about browsing recent documents with a shortcut key, so I'm gonna say yes, because it's gonna be much more beneficial for me in the sketching environment. Next, I'm gonna add another one, and this is gonna be my three-point arc. So I'm gonna press the number three, and you'll notice that it brings up a few things, three-point corner rectangle, center rectangle, arc slot, and arc. Now in this case, you'll notice that it has a search shortcut, but it doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. We're gonna set this up to be the letter A. Again, it says that it's already associated with something. Well, I don't really care about that. Now, it's important to note that you do not have to set up these keyboard shortcuts, but when we start the process of sketching and modeling, I'm gonna be using all of the feature tabs and sketch tabs to access the tools. But as we get further along into our examples, I'm gonna be using keyboard shortcuts to make it go a little bit quicker. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add a keyboard shortcut for a spline. Now you'll notice that there are three different splines here. There's a spline, a style spline, and a spline on surface. Well, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use spline because in SOLIDWORKS 2016, we can easily convert a standard spline into a style spline with several different options. And we'll talk about that a little bit later when we get into a little bit more advanced sketching techniques. But for me, the letter P on the keyboard is gonna be my spline. Again, it's associated with something else. Edit, repeat last command. Not a big deal for me, but I wanna go ahead and I wanna make sure that I don't accidentally have enter on there. So I'm gonna put the letter P and say, okay. Next thing we wanna do is set up one for a sketch point. Now sketch point is pretty important for a lot of different reasons. Next, I'm gonna use convert entity. Convert entities is a big one because it allows us to bring edges off of solid geometry, surface geometry, or directly from other sketches, bring it into a new sketch. I like to set this up to be the letter N on my keyboard. It's already assigned to something, but I'm gonna say yes and move on to the next one. The next thing I'm gonna set up is trim. Now trim is a very useful tool when you're sketching and sometimes it can be a little bit cumbersome to get to. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to be the letter T and move on to the last one. And this one is construction geometry. More times than not, you'll be converting lines to construction geometry 
or back construction geometry to normal geometry. It's very quick and easy to do this with a shortcut on your keyboard rather than selecting things in the model environment. Let's say OK and let's take a quick look at what we've done. So we're going to start a new sketch on top of this face. I'm going to use Control 8 on the keyboard to get a normal to view and I'm going to start sketching. First, I'm going to sketch a line by using the L key. So it allows me to sketch a line. I'm going to drag my sketch back to that point and it starts creating an arc. And then it goes back to a line. Now let's say that I wanted to create a circle. R on my keyboard allows me to create a circle quickly and easily. The T key allows me to come back and trim something that I've done. Then I can use the P key to create a spline. Again, I can go back to the T key, make a nice trim, move things around. You see that we have a few spline handles. Again, we'll talk about these in a later video, but I'm just proving a point here that it's quick and easy when you use these shortcut keys on your keyboard to allow you to create this geometry without having to do too much. Let's say that we decided that this arc here was really meant to be construction. D on the keyboard converts it to a construction entity. And then again, L on the keyboard brings me back to my line tool and I can draw a line there to finish off that profile. So now we have a profile that allows us to create an extrude because it is closed. There are other things that you might wanna make keyboard shortcuts for. For instance, rotating your view around. Now inside SOLIDWORKS, I'm using a 3D mouse, so it's real easy to move my geometry around. With the mouse, you can hold down the scroll wheel, or if you're using a CAD mouse, the middle mouse button, and you can quickly and easily move things around. But sometimes that can be a little frustrating. So let's go ahead and set up a keyboard shortcut in order to rotate. So I'm just gonna start typing in rotate. I'm gonna hit the space bar, and I'm gonna say yes. So now inside my modeling environment, if I hit the space bar, I can now move it around really. Now the reason this is handy is because most mice today have a multi-function scroll wheel. Now my mouse has a scroll wheel and the button can move left and right and I can also press it down. So sometimes when you're rotating it around by holding the middle mouse button down, if you accidentally press it left or right or scroll, it can mess up the rotation a little bit. So using the space bar in this case allows us to do quick rotation. Also, if we select a point, it'll rotate about that point or if we select an edge, it'll rotate about that edge. If we select a face, it'll make that the focal point of the rotation. So again, several different ways that we can customize our user environment by using keyboard shortcuts to access several things. Before we end this video, I wanna mention one keyboard shortcut that's preloaded in SOLIDWORKS that I never change, and that's the S key. The S key brings up a shortcut. Now this shortcut allows us to customize and quickly access several different tools, and it's custom for the part environment, for the assembly environment, for sketching, and also for drawing. Now we'll talk about customizing this in another video, but I just wanna make mention that the S key is gonna be very important. So I just don't want you to accidentally change the S key to some other tool before understanding that we're gonna be using it several times throughout our video series. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on learn more. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.